So how exactly can you get a business credit card without actually having an official business to actually run all the time? Well, the answer is this, guys. You know, whenever I mention to my friends, hey, why don't you get a credit card, a business one, get great points, a sign-up bonus, and on top of that, great benefits, they like, tell me, I can't do that. I don't have a real business. The answer is, well, you don't really need one. But then the CIA is going to come at night and then bang my door, ask me what's going on here, and also Chase is going to call a code blue on me. The answer is, guys, it's not really like that, okay? It's very simple simple no one's gonna come banging like oh my gosh what are you doing here the answer is you don't really need an official business to actually get a business credit card because at the end of the day guys my goal for this video is to teach you guys exactly how to do it but most importantly how to make sure you guys don't lie on your application because you still do everything legally officially but you know by the way guys I have never lied on any of my credit card applications okay I have, n I have, I have in the past. I have never lied in any of my credit card applications and I will never do that, okay? Now, guys, if you guys don't know me, my name is Tony Bryson, I'm an accountant, and I upload videos on YouTube every single day. And on top of that, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get notified, and also smash the like button. Now, guys, to be honest here, Comment down below and let me know this one thing, okay? Have you ever lied in a credit card application about your income or something else? Comment down below, let me know. Don't be specific, okay? This is all theoretical, it never happened, but if you have had lied, what would you have lied about? The answer is, you know, for me, I think I was like around 19 or 18, and at the time, I lost my job, okay? And I was making around 60 bucks every single week. But when I did apply for that card, your boy was making $2,000 a month. I don't know how, where the money came from. By the way, this is all theoretical. I won't mention the credit card, but the point is, you know, that's not the case anymore. But I have done that in the past, if we're talking about theoretical, if we're talking about realistic in real life here, um, I, I have not done that. Look, 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 I'm taking up my glasses right now. I have never done that. I can't see you, so it's not official if I even say that, but the point is I have never done that. But comment down below and let me know, have you ever done that in the past? Now, guys, the first thing I really want to talk about here is basically, well, Tommy, how can I sign up for a business credit card without having an official business? The answer is, guys, well, there are two ways to actually do it. The first way is you can make an LLC or corporation, or you can go out there and make a sole proprietorship, and then boom, you're good to go. But I also want to talk about, well, you know, what about my credit? Does it affect me? What are the pros and cons of doing this? The answer is I'm going to break everything down right now. The first thing is this, guys. Tommy, how can I open up a business credit card? Well, get a business credit card by having an LLC and not having really an official business. Well, the answer is, guys, when I first got my first LLC, my first account, bank account, business account, well, all I did was basically I went ahead and created an LLC. That way, whenever anyone wants to sue me, like anyone out there that I make videos about, but they don't like it because I'm being honest and they want to sue me. Well, they can't sue me directly because I'm protected by my LLC because it's a limited liability company. So if you sue me, you sue the company. But then again, the company itself never has any money. I have all the money. And you can't sue me because you're suing my company, not me. Okay, just so you guys know. So basically, when I applied for it, I got my first business account by applying with an EIN number and also my social, and that way I got everything together. But tell me, what if I don't have an LLC? How do I make it? Does it cost money? The answer is, when I applied for my LLC, I did it with Zen Business. It cost me $0 to file, but your state does charge money. You can't avoid that. In New York, it's around $200, $290, so you can't really avoid it. But I did send business, they do file for free for you, and they don't charge you that $200, $100. So if you wanted to send business, link down below, and you also get 25 bucks when you use them. Now, the second way to sign up is basically with a sole proprietorship. Now tell me, what is this exactly? The answer is, whenever you have a business and it runs through you, your own taxes and everything, well, we call that a sole proprietorship because although it's very simple, well, if I sue you for talking about me and I don't like it, well, I can sue you personally personally, and I take all your money. I can sue your assets, not just a company, but also you and all your assets. So whenever you apply for that credit card or for that account, well, you have to provide your personal social security because again, you don't have an EIN number. Now tell me, what exactly 
is an EIN number? The answer is kind of like a social security for a business called like an EIN number, identification number. So it's not really complicated. You get one of those. By the way, whenever you do Zen business, you can do it with them if you want to. They'll charge you like $70. But if you just go on the IRS website, you can get it for free. Don't tell anyone I told you, but you can get all these things for free usually. So get the filing for free with Zen business. Get the EIN number for free by doing it yourself and get everything else you need for free just by checking this channel. And again, link down below to Zen business. You get $25 when you do your entire process if you want to. By the way, little tip here, guys, okay? If you want to start a real business, okay, and you were like, okay, but I don't know if I want to start it, but I do want a business credit card. That way I get some sign-up bonuses and some rewards. The answer is you can do it if you want to. But eventually, if you want to turn that business into a real business, you can if you want to. So don't ever worry about that that much, okay? That's why if you have a sole proprietorship and you're liable for everything here, like, for example, oh, you know, I sell stuff on eBay every now and then, every month, you know, so I can get a business credit card and a business account. Awesome, right? The answer is, yeah, you can. But the point is, if eventually you want to take that business and make it an official business and you want to grow it, the answer is you can always switch from sole proprietorship to an LLC or whatever corporation you actually want to switch over to. So never worry about that. It's always possible. So always keep in mind, if you want to turn it official, always keep in mind that you have to turn it official to a corporation. That way you are more protected, okay? But now, guys, the third thing I want to talk about, you're probably wondering, tell me, but what exactly, what type of business can I start today that can actually land me on my entire, you know, qualify me for a business credit card without me really having an official business, okay? I don't want to have a billion dollar business. I can't do that, okay? I don't have the time for it. Plus, businesses fail all the time. I don't take the risk. You know, I get that. I get that. In the future, you might try to, you don't know. But the point is right now, you're not sure, okay? So the point is, if you do want to get that business credit card or a business account, whatever you want to do, the answer is, well, you can take on several different little businesses here and there to actually qualify you for a business, okay? Now, Tell me, what are these? Well, the first one is this. You can sell things on eBay. I mentioned this before. And if you have something around the house, for example, if you want to sell this right here, and you're like, okay, this cost me um, $5. I'm going to sell it on eBay for like $10. I just made $10 in one month. I am a business. I'm official. The answer is, yeah, you, you kind of are, okay? You don't need a billion dollars in sales to actually qualify, but just having some activity qualifies you for being a business, either a sole proprietorship or just being an LLC. By the way, when you do apply for a credit card, a business credit card, if you are a sole proprietorship, you sign up with your own personal social security and when you do an LLC, you sign up with the EIN number and then sometimes they do require your own personal social security at the beginning. It all depends but don't be surprised if you do ask for this information again now if you want to sell things on ebay you can if you want to on top of that if you want to do freelancing okay like fiverr or upwork you have a skill you want to do something like hey can you hire me for a dollar i'll sing something i'll do something on youtube i'll like your video i'll comment on it okay whatever you want well guess what that makes you a business also on top of that if you want to do consulting hey you know i have a friend his name is Bob. Well, Bob is pretty nice. Hey, Bob, want me to consult you on what I just learned here on Tommy's video? Well, yeah, consult me. Well, just pay me five bucks. Well, here you go. I have income. I am also a business. Isn't that awesome? On top of that, if I want to drive Uber or Uber Eats once a week or once a month or once every so often, well, guess what? I'm also a business. And also, if I want to do babysitting for my mom and she also pays me, well, it's a hard life, but I'm also a business. The answer is, guys, okay you can basically do theoretically anything as long as it's actually making you some type of income or at least trying to pursue it the point is it's not really that hard by the way okay whenever you apply for a credit card usually they'll try to base it on your credit also so it's not just like oh my business doesn't have any history or i don't have any money or any sales coming in the answer is most of the time that does not matter as much as you think it does okay now we spoke about how to apply corporation or sole proprietorship, and we also talk about how to qualify yourself for business. For example, um, babysitter, um, eBay, whatever you want to do, basically. But I really want to break down. Well, Tommy, what about my personal credit? Does this affect me? And how exactly is this going to work? Okay. Well, the first thing is this, guys. Again, whenever you apply for a business, okay, a business account or business credit card, you have to remember they're gonna base it off your credit usually. Okay. It's not gonna be like, okay, you know, we're just gonna trust you. You have a business. It's brand new. No 
ourselves so we won't like put the debt on you just like the business the answer is usually they do require something called a good guy guarantee meaning if you took out debt on that business usually you will be liable also so don't get a business and be like okay i'm just gonna run up the credit and then just buy a whole bunch of stuff and they're like you know oh i went bankrupt sorry the answer is no <laughs> it doesn't work like that usually they try to make you liable for it now tommy Second part here, what about my personal credits and how exactly does it affect me? The answer is, well, a lot of people say on YouTube, Tommy, you know, whenever you have a business, it doesn't affect your personal credit score. The answer is, well, to be honest, it's not a simple answer. It's kind of like a, not, it's not like a one, two answer, like super simple, but it's kind of like a one, three answer. By the way, don't overthink it. It's not supposed to make sense. It's just numbers I'm saying, like just to sound smart. But the point is guys, okay, if, you ask me, Tommy, will it affect my credit score? The answer is, it depends on the company you're signing up with. For example, okay, Discover and Capital One have a history of doing all your activities and transferring over also to your personal credit score. So for example, if you say like, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and get a business credit card and I'm gonna go ahead and buy an iPhone. And then you're like, okay, I'm gonna pay it off in a while, don't really worry about it. And next month you come back, you're like, hey, I have a $1,000 um, debt on my entire personal credit score, but I took it out of my business. What's going on here? The answer is, well, Capital One and Discover have a history of doing that. However, with Chase currently, I owe them around $9,000 in a credit card, and they haven't like put it on my credit score for the past three months. Tommy, are you paying interest? The answer is no. I have a promotion on it for 12 months, so I don't need to pay anything just yet, just the minimum. But by the time it is due, like around October or September time, guess what? I'll pay it off in full. That's my plan, that's what I always do, okay? Now, guys, we know now that it does affect your credit score depending on what company you use, but by the way, it's not a really like huge effect, you know, because at the end of the day, if you're being responsible and not spending a ton of money, it doesn't really matter that much. Let's be honest here. Now, the last thing I really wanna break down here is, well, Tommy, why exactly would I wanna go ahead and try to get a business credit card or start a business quote unquote. By the way, this is not illegal, okay? It's called a loophole. I would never ask you guys, I'm being serious here, by the way, okay? I would never ask you guys to do something illegal and get you in trouble, okay? It's just a little loophole where if you are a sole proprietorship or an LLC, you're kind of like doing something here and there as a business, it still qualifies, it's like a loophole, okay? I'm not telling you to go ahead and lie or anything like that. You don't need to do that whatsoever, okay? So keep everything official, you'll be good to go because I live by the idea that, hey, if you do everything correctly, by the book, you can get ahead much faster and much better. Well, it might be a little slower, I'll be honest with you, but you can get much further by doing everything legally and also correctly. By the way, I do this because legally might be different for you, but legally for me means basically everything that it says in the book, the law, and sometimes the loophole in there, you can actually do things without being illegal, so that's what I mean here. Not an ethical thing, morally thing, I mean legal on paper. That's what I care about the most, okay? Now, the last thing I wanna mention here, guys, basically, well, what are the pros about me actually doing this, okay? Tell me, what do I gain by doing this? Well, the answer is, guys, well, you can actually double up on sign up bonuses. Tommy, what do you mean here? Well, you ever sign up for a credit card, for example, like Discover, and they're like, hey, when you sign up, you get $20. Well, guess what? Usually they have the same offer for the business account. So if you sign up for both of them, well, you get double the money right then and there from your business account and also your personal account. Now, not just that, guys, but by having a business, you can actually apply for, guess what? Yeah personal times accounts, and usually with business accounts, you always get a bonus for having money in there for a while. When I signed up for Chase, I got a $300 bonus by keeping $1,000 in that account for around 90 days. Well, actually, I think, no, it was like 30 days, and I got $300 just like that. Pretty good if you ask me for doing nothing with my money and just leaving it there. By the way, $1,000, $300, that's a 30% return in less than a year, just in one month. To me, that sounds like a very good deal if you ask me. And on top of that, usually with a business credit card, you get a lot more benefits. For example, travel, a lot of hotel stuff. You also get a lot more cash back, usually dependent on the card you actually apply for. But Tommy, what cards should I apply for? Well, comment down below, guys, and let me know. Should I make a video on the top five or top seven different credit cards out there for business to use? Comment down below let me know I'll get to work and I'll put it out tomorrow because again I do upload videos every single day now guys comment down below and let me know also are you going to try this or are you still afraid of the CIA and also Chase is gonna call a code blue 
on you. Comment down below, let me know. And by the way, remember, an LLC for free was Zen Business. And as always, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, like this video, really appreciate it. And also, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get notified. And if you want to talk to me one on one, uno uno, just DM me on Instagram, Tiny Bryson. And before I go, if you want to watch another video, for example, how to start a free LLC, we'll watch this video right here. And also, click my face right here. Subscribe to the channel now. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And as always, peace.